Hey, I'm Kevin Porter. I'm going to teach you how to do inverts today on RideBMX.com. There are two different types of tabletops. There's, uh, they're both tabletops. One's an invert and one's a tabletop. An invert is passed uh, flat and kind of goes up towards your shoulder. And a tabletop is straight flat. Um, today I'm teaching you about inverts. Uh, inverts are pretty cool because they're pretty natural with the way that you air a quarter pipe and they could also be done on hips. Generally anytime you're turning in the direction that you're turning the tabletop up it causes the invert to go a little easier. I guess the best way to do it is to air, an, air a quarter pipe because you're turning uh, 180 and when you turn you kind of drop your shoulder you drop your um, head a little bit you turn your hands and you squeeze your knees together and toss your knees over the top tube um, basically turning into a little ball that's a little twisted and once you're there you want to watch out for your bars uh, snagging your shirt or anything you want to keep it um, usually inverts have your bar uh, straight and not sideways. Tabletops generally have sideways bars so the wheels uh, 90 degrees but inverts usually are straight but today people have big bars and it gets not, uh, caught when you keep them straight so inverts have been generally starting to look a little bit like a tabletop that's completely tweaked towards your shoulder. So um, the I think step by step, the first thing you want to do is start to work with your hands a little bit, but keeping your legs together. Um, as you're going up the quarter pipe, you want to tuck whichever way you're going. If you're flipping the tabletop up uh, like I do to the right, you want to tuck your right hand in. You want to push your, right, your left hand out. You want to put both knees together. Pretty tricky, but the more you air and the, the more you try and think about tabletops and inverts, the more you'll see them come out of the airs. So adequate speed is in, important. You know, you want to get at least a foot or two over the coping. The higher you are, the easier it is, and the more you can hold it and kind of keep it all clumped together like a little ball. One of the things about inverts as well is you can push them past their threshold and actually slip your feet on your pedals. Your top foot's going to slip once you uh, squeeze it all together, your top foot kind of turns and goes down. There's, I've seen tons of photos in the magazines where the rider almost has his foot off. Tabletops are definitely something that with the control of the bike, you generally start to pick up, but it takes quite a bit of time. This might take years um, for most people. Uh, occasionally, you're going to look really goofy starting to learn it. The one thing you got to make sure you do is keep your knees together because that's the secret of an invert. The knees both have to go over the top tube. Um, your knee might stick out and you might try to do a tabletop and cause you to look really bow-legged. Um, odds are you're not going to be able to get the invert to the place you need it to go because it's restricting with your knee. But um, yeah, it takes a while to get them really smooth and dialed. But uh, I think the proper etiquette is to start and finish your tabletop really smooth, keep it really uh, tight, and try not to jerk it into place. Uh, but there's really no uh, limit to how how you do it and, and how it's done. You just need to uh, just be aware that sometimes it can look a little funky in the beginning. The best part about inverts is uh, once you actually catch the control of an invert, it really shows the mechanics of bike riding. Uh, you could pick up a lot of control learning um, tabletops because once you know where your threshold is from uh, this side all the way around to this side, you can really understand the back end and everything. Uh, it's something that's really good to work on, and it's also uh, one of the most timeless tricks that BMX has.